When was the last time you watched a video that inspired you? I'm not saying this video is inspirational by any means, but I'm just saying like, when was the last time you watched somebody's video and they did something that made you want to do what they did? I know for me, you know, when I first started playing Ghosts and I was watching people get chem strikes and double chems and stuff like that. And I was actually inspired to go out and get chem strikes and do that. So for a long time, the energy and everything surrounding my channel was all about getting chem strikes. And, you know, that was that got me through, I don't know, six or seven months. I'm afraid those days are gone. You know, chem strikes just doesn't they don't do it for me anymore. In fact, Ghost just doesn't do it for me either. And so, you know, I've been branching out, I've been watching other YouTubers. Um, obviously, I've been watching some sniping videos. Um, my favorite sniper to watch is Pomage. And he inspired me to go out and play Modern Warfare 2 and try to get some sniping clips. You know, you might have seen my last video where I was sniping on Black Ops 1. That shit is really hard. You know, if, if you've never tried that, give that a try. Now, I know what you're thinking. Isn't Modern Warfare 2 hacked? And the answer to that is yes, this game is hacked to shit. But you can get into a lobby that's not hacked. You know, I actually played a hack lobby once and, you know, just for shits and giggles, just to see what everybody was doing. And those games go on forever. I played 17 minutes of domination on sub base, and then I think I played one on rust, and the shit just went on and on and on. And eventually I just turned it off. I will say this about those stupid ass hack lobbies is it helped me get uh, you know, the pro perks faster. You know, when you play Ghosts, you get a little spoiled when it comes to perks. You know, basically everything was unlocked in that game. It's kind of weird, but in these older games, you got to grind it out a little bit to get pro perks in. You know, if you want to snipe, you really want to have Stopping Power Pro, Sleight of Hand Pro, and Steady Aim Pro. Back when this game was actually out and people were playing it, I was too busy playing Madden. And you know, when I got this video, I only had about five hours of game time actually played. So I think I picked up sniping pretty fast. You know, obviously, if you can snipe in Black Ops 1, I think you can snipe anywhere. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I, I had this game back when it first came out, but I didn't know there was a multiplayer, I'll be honest with you. I was, I was playing Madden back in those days, and you know, I had just beat, uh, what's the name of that game? Metal Gear, and just the games that I used to play back in those those days, I used to try to beat them as fast as I could, so, you know, I beat this game in like one day, and I was like, damn, that's it? The fuck, you know, so, I took it back and never played multiplayer, I didn't play multiplayer until Black Ops 1, so, anyway, I hope you liked this video, remember to rate, comment, subscribe, peace.